Good evening. Welcome to day 19 of the COVID-19 cast. Uh, the day is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. Uh, I'm Henry Hushkey here. I'm a 17-year-old and a junior in high school. Today is going to be kind of a unique format. I interviewed three fellow teens here in the Grand Traverse County area, and I talked to them for a little bit about the pandemic. So today's cast, uh, we're not going to be going over numbers or anything like that. We're just going to be listening to these interviews. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this time, and enjoy. All right, so I'm here with Mac. Sick. So how's it going with your siblings coming back? Are they all back in the house or? Yeah, all of all of my siblings are back in the house. So six people in one house. It's just like old times. Yeah. So how's that going? Uh, you know, there there are pros and cons. <laughs> pros and cons. <laughs> okay. Yeah, getting used to it. Is your sister? Oh no, your sister's in New York. You no. Yeah. That's tough. How's she doing? Uh, she's she's fine. She's fine right that's now. Good. Doing okay. Work. Working from home. Still has a job, so that's good. <laughs> that is good. Yeah, how's your, how's your dad doing? Yeah, so that's what I was going to ask you, too. Uh, my dad's doing good. He, he went, he, like, uh, stayed, like, for the last 10 days was in a hotel in uh, Cadillac. Because uh, he was working at Cadillac. Right. But he just came back last night, so... He's back now for a few days because he took he had like spring break off. Okay. Which is kind of nice. Yeah. But, yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. Not going to Italy anymore, but no. <laughs> no. Uh, how's your dad doing? How's it going? Uh, solid. You know, just getting into a routine. I mean, is the I don't know about the Cadillac ER, but Munson right now is super slow. Yeah, it's been super slow. Um, yeah, which is you know. Seems counterintuitive. It's like the calm but... before the storm. It's yeah. like no one wants to go into the ER, you know what I mean? Right, because, you know, no one's going out or anything. This is the greatest This is the greatest way. If everyone just stayed inside a bubble 24-7, no one gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just never come out of our houses. Ever. Um, Has your dad had to intubate anyone yet? Uh, No, I don't think he's really worked with. I mean, there's only like five cases in Munson so far. So, so, so you were in a house. It was just you and your mom. And yeah, your for ten days. It was. Super, wow. Yeah. So it's like oh. the exact opposite of you, actually, kind of. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Now, now, siblings being home doesn't sound that bad, but. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. We took our dogs on like a lot of long walks. Oh yeah. I made I'm the sure. COVID cast. <laughs> Yeah, the COVID test. Dude, this is kind of fun. Are you going for this, this for, like, uh, like, ex- no, you're not even in the front and central anymore, so you wouldn't be doing it for extra credit. I don't know, you're just doing it for fun. Yeah, yeah, it's it's something. It's something to do. Something to do, a project. It's kind of sick, though. 500 views now on the first one? I think so, yeah, I think so. I Yeah. That's awesome. It's doing good, <laughs> getting some clout. Yeah, it is. It's dope. Uh, okay. How's your family in Detroit? Do you know? Uh, they, they actually, they moved from Detroit, like, last year. So, they're, uh, they're in Florida, actually. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. Uh, I guess I have an aunt down there. Or a great aunt. And, like, she's doing fine. You know, it seems like you know, if you do a pretty good job of self-quarantining, then, like, even if you are in a dangerous, dangerous place, you know. It's going to be okay. Yeah, you'll be okay. That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> okay, what do you think is going to happen with school? Are we, like... I think, didn't it? I feel like Whitmer said something about signing an executive order of ending school for this year. Yeah, I okay, I haven't looked at that. Maybe. Yeah, we're like the seniors. Come on, you're the... You're the host of the COVID cast, Henry. <laughs> I know. Okay, okay, let me see. Whitmer. Yeah, I think it said, like, the seniors will just graduate, and then everyone will just move up. <laughs> I just hope it goes to, like, pass-fail or something. Yeah, me too. You know what like, I mean? Yeah, online is kind of tough. Dude, yeah. I feel like... I feel like AP is... 
I feel like what's going to happen is, like, they're going to get the scores back, and they're going to realize that, like, it's unusable. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, like... Okay, first like, of all, just the test format is so whack. It's like It's, like, you'll have one FRQ for your AP Lang grade. I know, it's, it's ridiculous, it's crazy. I know, um, same with, like, yeah, I don't know, like, calc? Yeah. Just any sure. of this stuff? It's hard for me to, like, I have, like, I kind of have, like, no motivation, too, because I don't even know, like, <laughs> with some of the, especially the non-AP classes, it's, like... Oh, yeah, I don't, yeah. Yeah. For, like, yeah. And laying, honestly, dude, because, like... Yeah. What's the point in practicing these three different types if in two days we're going to find out the one type that we have to practice? I know, I know, honestly. Okay, what are you doing to pass the time? Anything in particular you've been doing? Uh, well, I do have three siblings at home, so usually. Any board games? Any? Uh, we're not really bored. We're not big into board games, but, you know, like we've I baked a couple things. My we've sister. been baking some things, too, yep. Yeah, I'm absolutely terrible at it, but, you know, good way to pass the time. Busted out the old BB guns, too. Yeah, I busted out my BB gun, yep. Nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just finding things to do, honestly. I'm running out right now. <laughs> You're running out right now? Yeah. Yeah. Any video games, anything like that? Any binge-watching? Oh, you know what I want? I watched Lock and Key. Did you watch Lock and Key? No, I haven't seen Lock and Key. Uh, That's Lock a good show. <laughs> hey, there's something for you to do, I think. Okay, <laughs> all right. Wait, wait. What's Lock and Key about? It's, like, based on a graphic novel. So, like, you know. It's there, just it's, about graphic novels. It's just, like, yes. how to make one. It's a documentary on graphic novels. No, okay, not, all right. That would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, side note, though. Have you watched Tiger King? No, although I've I've seen it on Netflix advertised a ton. <laughs> it's so good. It's so funny. Okay, because I just finished. Have you ever seen Better Call Saul? I haven't, dude. dude look should... at this. We're getting we're getting so many opportunities here. Yes, <laughs> dude. You should watch Better Call Saul. I swear, it is like one of my favorite TV shows. Really? I just finished the fourth season this morning. <laughs> That's kind of sick. Four seasons, huh? Have, did you start in Coronation? No, no, no. Oh, oh, um, oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> no, I I hadn't seen the fourth season. There's ten episodes, so... Yeah. yeah. I just finished that. I've kind of been spacing them out, though. Yeah. I mean, what else are you going to do all day, right? <laughs> How long do you think we're going to be locked down? Honestly, I don't really know. Like, okay, so maybe like a week ago we went to Meyer and just like, it was a zoo, and like, no one's really wearing anything. So like, I'm guessing people like... I don't know. What do you mean wearing anything? Like, no one's, like, wearing masks or gloves, like, at Meyer still or oh. that sort of thing. So, I'm guessing people are still getting in it, like, the grocery store, or that's right, going to yeah. keep going. Because there is evidence of community spread, right? Yeah, there is now. Like, someone, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. But, Who knows? I don't know. I think I think we still have, like... Probably, I don't know, it just depends on, like, whether we could, like, test, you know, like, test a lot of people here, That's because, exactly. like, the, I don't know, like, how it is at TC, but, like, the testing situation's pretty whack, still. Right, that's exactly what my dad said, actually. Yeah. Because, so, like, once you can, like, test quickly, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, you've got the, you've I got the corona quarantine. And then, yeah, because then you can figure out, you know... You don't want to be going to you don't want to be going to whatever restaurant and the person has corona or you don't right. want to you know. Oh, side note: the boathouse is having burger and cabernet tonight, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, and uh, the proceeds are going to like the staff in need. Mm. That, like, you know, so I don't, know. I don't know. Maybe there's a dinner plan for a night. Okay, that's a good idea. I'll. I'll look it up. I'm thinking, like, maybe a month. I'm thinking, like, early or mid-May is when this will be. Peaked or decelerating? Like, decelerating, I think. I think, yeah. like, mid-April is when it'll be peaked. But yeah, I, 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 don't know. I, think, I think so, too. Because, like, you know, the big cities are getting hit, hit hard right now. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's pandemic, so, like, 
eventually most of the population is going to be exposed. Probably. Right. So, like, I don't know. I think it'll just kind of spread out to the suburbs and rural areas. Yeah, the that, that's the problem is, like, it, it's probably going to peak here later, you know? It's going to be delayed, yeah. But, like, so, in the... Like, in the grand scheme of things, I think the lockdown will be taken off, you know? I'm thinking that there's got to be a lot of people downstate that are, like, coming up to their cabins here or something. But Do you know how mortality rates are for, like, different age groups right now? So, uh, it's really hard to tell. There's, like, there's different... Because it's, like, we'll only be able to know afterwards. <laughs> That's so, true. So, like, on the one hand, it's, like, we kind of don't know how many actual cases there are. Right, um, it's true. And plus, just taking the number of cases versus the number of people that have died is also misleading, because, like, there's people who are infected that could still that, die later, you know what I mean? Sure. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, both of those things mean that I actually feel like, like, about 3% total is, like, probably right, <laughs> but, uh, I think, like, if you're, like, above 80, it's probably, like, 20% plus. yeah. It seems to be, because, like, that, you know, nursing home in Seattle. Yeah, yeah, like, a third of them. I think, like, a third right. of those people died or something like it's, that. You know, I mean, you know. Yeah, it's it's bad. Yeah, is the point. And this seems to be, like, more cases of hospitalizations of young people, too, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I think it's, I think it's, you don't want to get it, I think. I think right. even if it doesn't kill you, it's going to be a very bad time right yeah that's scary it's a terrible way to die too i know because you have to be you're like alone and suffocate basically yeah i mean it's terrible. yeah yeah it's brutal yeah i'm just i just think about like think about how hard this has hit like europe and the u.s i can't even imagine like, like a third world country yeah it's yeah, yeah. it's gonna be yeah yeah, That's like, India, be like the most dense nightmare. place on Earth, or, yeah, or well, China. <laughs> yeah, although, Ch I, I have no idea what to think about China. I don't know whether, I don't know whether their numbers are actually accurate or not. Like, <laughs> That's true. I have no clue. I don't know. I kind of, like, I China, think, you know, I don't know. They, I don't, they've got a communist government, you know, so, like, I feel like their quarantine measures... They work. Well, like, yeah, I, I do. I do believe that like it's kind of stopped. Yeah. So I. I well, I, I just don't know what the total was when it was bad. You know. Right. You never know. You never know with them. You know. But yeah, I do think it, if anything, China is like looking at this. They're like best off because they already like had it. Right. They've already peaked. Mm -hmm. And they've already seen it. And like now, now I think right. like they're shutting off travel to other places. So. I'm looking for it. <sighs> Vaccine development takes like a year, though, doesn't it? A year. Yeah, that's more. that's the whole that's the whole thing is that like we probably won't have a vaccine until like this time next year, and even right. that so is really, like one of the fastest vaccine developments ever. So really, the process is you know. That's why. That's why it's like: is this going to be a matter of like two months, or is it going to be a matter of until the vaccine? Right. Or will it be like a? There's a chance it could be like a seasonal thing too. Yeah, I know. I know. So like, yeah, and that, like My we get God. summer and it then could... it just comes back next winter. Mm -hmm. Like, well, it could be even worse, right? So yeah, a lot of speculation right now. But... I know. I don't know. It could be like you need your COVID shot each year and your flu shot. Right. Yeah. You know what? Uh, thanks for talking to me today, Mac. It's good yeah, to have you on the cast. It was fun. Have a yeah. I don't know. Have fun editing that. <laughs> All right, I will have fun editing that. Okay, so we have our next guest on the COVID cast here, Amelia. Hi, how's it going? I it's know, good. Just, how's your day today? Um, my day's been pretty good. It's been productive. It's good. That's good. Better than better than what I've been doing so far today. <laughs> uh, what do you think is going to happen with school right now? Well, I, it sounds like... I mean, it sounds like school's going to be canceled for the rest of the year, um, and so it, we're going to, you know, be transitioning um, into mostly virtual for the rest of the school year, so that'll be interesting. Let's see. How are your grandparents doing? 
Uh, my grandparents are doing pretty well. We've convinced them all to, you know, stay inside and not go anywhere. And so um, two of them are, you know, kind of immunely compromised. So we're like really <laughs> stressing that they stay inside and they've been pretty good about that, which is exciting. So they're healthy and safe right now. How's it going being cooped up with all your siblings? Um, first day, I was ready to move out already because my sisters are driving me insane. But they've kind of mellowed out since, and they just kind of know I go into my room and let them do their own thing. So, um, you know, they're always crazy, and I just have to deal with it. <laughs> You're surviving, though. Yes, I am surviving. How are how are your parents doing? Like, how's it working with your dad? Is he still working or? Yes, yeah, so my dad's still working. He's working from home right now. Um, I know he has to go into his law firm every once in a while to, you know, sanitize everything. Mm -hmm. um, so he's been doing that. Um, my parents are doing well. My mom has been doing home workouts, um, and you know. We all need our, like, exercise, especially with our, like, crazy dogs. So we've been going on long hikes every day. So we're doing our best to not, you know, get too much cabin fever. That's good. That's good. How's the Rick Steves? Oh, it's great. It's torturous because I just want to be in Europe so badly right now. But it's so, very entertaining. So, yeah. So you were supposed to be in Europe for spring break. <laughs> yes. We were supposed to be in Paris today, I think. And we moved our trip to... Um, December and so like over Christmas break so we're taking some solace and like replanning our trip when do you think we're gonna get back do you think like I don't know when do you think life's gonna go back to normal what are you thinking right now um I'm hopeful that sometime in May I'm trying to be as optimistic as possible that things will get up and running as quickly as possible and as safely as possible do you think cherry festival is gonna get uh canceled I was thinking about that because I work cherry festival like I work at a cherry stand um and I feel like you'll be in the pits it might be canceled which I feel like would just be so crazy because that's such a big part of Traverse City honestly I kind of think like if cherry festival got canceled but like things were still open that actually would not be too bad though yeah that's like personally I mean all like Tour, like tourists love Cherry Festival, but all the locals like absolutely hate it. But at the same time, it's like part of Traverse City, so I, I don't think the businesses would like it very much if it was canceled. But everyone else, yeah. <laughs> I just hope Film Festival doesn't get canceled. Oh, that'd be so sad. I love Film Festival. I know. I hope that does not happen. Yeah, this summer, I don't know. I'm worried about the businesses because Traverse City could really get wrecked. If, yeah, like, River City is like such a tourist based town, and I'm just and worried like about small like, business base too. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about because there's all I'm thinking of all of these like small businesses that like I love so much. I'm just like I hope they're doing well. That's why right now my parents like we're we're at, eating out like at least once a week, and we pick like one of our favorite small businesses, and we're like we're we're supporting this restaurant, picking it up. So. I was talking to Mac earlier. He says uh, the taco kits at Mama Lou's are super good. Have you tried that? Yes, I just went actually yeah. right before all of this. I went with Aaron. Let's see, any fun projects right now? Um, I know. Well, I, pa I painted some shoes. I sewed a dress, um, and made a photo wall. So like those have been my big projects so far. I can picture um, it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to keep expanding the photo wall. I had to buy more photos because I ran out. Um, I think I'm going to make some earrings. So um, that's on the docket. And then I'm going to order a blank puzzle and paint that because we've been doing a ton of puzzles. And so I was like, mm -hmm. hey, I may as well make my own because then it'll, you know, be more That'd fun. Be cool. Yeah. Um, and then I think I'm going to paint something to like hang on my wall I'm not exactly sure what yet it's good you got things going on yeah I'm trying to keep myself as busy as possible <laughs> that's good that's good I had a virtual college meeting this morning too so. really with what colleges or what or with your uh, so it was with my yeah my college okay. planner um, yeah. Gretchen 
Whitmer? So. No, I'm just I'm kidding. <sighs> I, I've started a very dumb task. I'm trying to grow a mustache now, which is very ill-advised. So that'll be interesting yeah. to see. I know a lot of people have been, a lot of the, like my guy friends have been saying they're just not going to shave for three weeks and see what happens. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm like, okay. It's been like, it's been like four, four or five days, so it'll be interesting to see. Going to keep track of that. I've yeah. been listening to so much music. That's another thing I've been doing. That's good. I made like a playlist that's like four hours long. That's really I've just good. been listening to that on repeat. Yeah, I've been learning songs on the ukulele, too. That's good, that's good. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be, like, semi-decent by the time this ends. <laughs> My family keeps requesting songs. <laughs> that's good, keep a yeah. new stream. And my sister had just got a ukulele over break, so I've been giving her lessons a little bit, so. Ooh. Do you have any family downstate or anything? Uh, we have family in Kalamazoo. They doing okay? They... Yes. Um, I mean, I think it's basically they're in the same boat as us here. That's also like my cousins in Madison. Wisconsin? Uh, Wisconsin, yeah. They're, it's basically we're all in the same boat. I don't know if Wisconsin's being as hardcore as Whitmer is. Um, but I know that they were, you know, self-isolating. Mm -hmm. And then my um, uncle... Um, is an OBGYN in the hospitals there and he said even it's just crazy so and that's um, like a big <laughs> hospital yeah, there I'm sure yeah I haven't I haven't looked at Wisconsin's numbers but I assume it's probably in the above a thousand I don't know yeah. yeah I think I don't know I don't know how long it's gonna last I don't know I'm trying to be as optimistic as possible it's just frustrating because it's like you run a mile and then you get there and then they're like oh actually you have two more to run and so that's the frustrating thing is they can't like you wish someone would be like upfront you have to run 10 miles but it's you don't know which is not a thing well yeah that was yeah there was a lot of bad expectation setting at the start of this but i think i think things are kind of accurate right now like things are actually looking better like um italy reported fewer cases again today i just that's saw exciting. that so yes, yeah, so that's good. So I think a lot of it is that the testing was so behind, and now that we've kind of caught up on that, um, wow. it's, well, okay, we're catching up on that. There's still there's still gonna be problems. Is yeah, I just feel it's just like with that. I don't know. It's we'll we'll see. It'll work out in it the will. end, and hopefully, hopefully it'll you know, we flatten the curve and it's able to end quickly and safely. So. I think, yeah, we're, we're doing better now. We're doing a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Things are definitely looking up. What, uh, watching any TV shows or anything like that? Um, I've been, okay. So I love movies mm -hmm. a ton. So I like all, I watch them all the time and I've been trying to like branch out. Mm -hmm. Um, over this so i just watched a rom-com last night which is very unlike me i do not like rom-coms at all but i watched love rosie um and then we've been watching rick steves i just watched um the danish girl the king's speech mm. um what else did i just watch i watched the documentary 13th oh yeah yeah the one so many people did for yeah yeah, it was really? really good. It was very depressing. Well, I mean, they ended mm -hmm. on kind of a positive note, but I just binge watched um, the show The Circle. What's which The is, Circle about? Oh, so it's on Netflix, and basically, it's like a social media competition. And so people stay in apartments, and they can only communicate via social media, and then they like rate each other. And so, are... so it's literally just what's happening right now. <laughs> That's why it was so weird to watch it, because um, some people were like, this is a really, like, weird show, you should watch it. So I was like, okay, like, whatever. So And then watching it, like, now, I was like, this is too close to home. Uh, I didn't even know they were making it about COVID. Anything tonight? I'm, I don't know. I'm probably going to walk these dogs here soon. 
Yeah, I'm going on a hike too. Uh, so that'll be fun. <laughs> then we're starting. We've been doing like a puzzle a night. Oh, a and puzzle then, a like, night. Man, you, yeah, you've been like busy. I mean, you've been doing a ton. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because I like physically cannot not do things. So I've been like sitting there and I'll be like, I'm sitting here. I should just take. <laughs> Well, I'm feeling like, you know, I thought I was somewhat productive. I'm getting schooled over here. We're also doing, like, we each get a night where we make dinner. And so tonight, mm. my sister like, pot stickers, so that's exciting. Ooh, that's really good. <laughs> or with that. What have, what have you made the last few times? So, I did French Oh, yeah, night you did. Oh, I saw it. Okay, yeah. With the croque monsieurs and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, I sent, I took pictures of it, and I sent it to Madame. Solid I, and I was like, see, I'm, I'm, I'm still doing French. I'm still learning. Yeah, and I taught it to my family. So that was fun. I think I'm doing a colonial dinner this week. Colonial? Yeah, because we're trying to do, like, you know, we're trying to do, like, semi-theme nights. And so, like, my one of my sisters is going to do Italian night. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and um, considering that, like, we were in Italy a year mm-hmm. ago. Yeah. Um, and so we're all going to dress up for that, too. Oh. Um, like for our French night, you know, we all dressed up and, like, had mm-hmm. berets and stuff, which my parents used to surprise us when we found out we were going to France. So that was kind of sad. But, <laughs> um, but yeah. Well, it sounds like you're making the best of it. Yes. I'm trying to stay as positive as possible. That's good. I like. I just noticed the shirt. Good for the climate strike. Getting yes. the hype action. My schoolhouse rock shirt. You know what? Uh, just for the cast here. Uh, hopefully in early June there will be a climate strike in Traverse City. So, uh, come out and support that. Yes. And if that doesn't happen, we'll at least be having a virtual strike sometime. Yes. Too. So Zoom over to zoom to (laughs) get in on that virtual strike yes all right thanks so much see ya thanks for having me and thanks for talking you're welcome it's good thanks have a good day i hope we maybe i don't know get back to something normal soon yes that's very helpful yes bye bye Okay. All right. So welcome, Sophie. Uh, how's it going? Oh, it's, you know, it's going just how it is. Not a whole lot happening, but glad to be here, Henry. Glad that you're here, Sophie. Uh, how's it going with your family? I know you have siblings. Did they come home or I guess probably not, obviously. Um, no, my siblings have like their own separate families. So it's just me and my parents right now. Um, my sister's living in the Netherlands right now, and, uh, she's a professor at a university, and they closed her university for the year, so, yeah, I don't know what my brother's doing, but, uh, oh, he's actually a pastor, so he has to preach from home, and he's sending out, like, these videos and stuff. Interesting. So, and I'm just here doing nothing, so, (laughs) hanging out with my parents, Lots Me too. of bonding time. Me too. Yeah. Um, okay, how is it in the Netherlands? Have you gotten any updates from there? Any? Um, a while ago it sounded pretty bad, but um, I don't think it's as bad as it is in the United States now. But um, yeah, they like stocked up on groceries and stuff, and they're just kind of avoiding people. And yeah. It sounds okay. They're dealing with it fine. That's good. That's good. What do you think about classes right now? Um, well, since it's spring break, I mean, like, technically it's spring break. Teachers Uh, have kind of stopped. Beautiful weather outside. Yes. It's so sunny. You know, I laid Mm -hmm. out on the deck and got tan the other day. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And the skiing is great. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I don't know, classes, teachers have kind of stopped assigning stuff as far as 
like spring break goes, but I know that once this week is over, we're probably going to get a lot more stuff to do, which is fine. Um, I definitely enjoy going to school a lot more than doing school at my house. I mean, I get stuff done faster, but it is definitely not as fun. So, yeah, and I've been doing those college board video things. So, I mean, just got to do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah. How's, um, I guess, what do you think about the AP test now, the way it's going to be? With... I'm kind of relieved. <laughs> um, part of me is upset um, for AP Lang, for example, just because now we're only writing one essay, and we've kind of been preparing all these essays. So part of it makes me upset because, like, we learned all this stuff for the exam, and now we're just not going to have to do it. But then I'm also relieved because now I only have to write one essay instead of three. So that's Boom. good. And then AP Gov, it's going to be fine. Like, yeah. I think the AP tests are okay. Do you have any, like, uh, family downstate or anything? Yeah, my brother lives in Detroit, so, um, I don't know. I haven't talked to him a whole lot about it, but I assume it's a little bit more turbulent than it is here, but it's kind of crazy everywhere, so. What, what do you think is going to happen this uh, summer, do you think? I don't know. Um, personally, I, I don't, I mean, like, school, I don't think we're going to do school in summer. I do think, I mean, Gretchen Wimmer hasn't officially canceled school for the year, but I think it's going to happen. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think yeah. I'm going to put this cast out tomorrow, so on the day that this is airing, uh, we should have, like, a decision on what our school situation is going to be. Oh, that's scary. So. So, yeah, I, yeah, if we don't have school for the rest of the year... I would be very, very sad. At least right now we're just missing out on the spring, which is, like, kind of the worst season. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't like spring either. I don't really mind. Yeah, so it's April. So that means we have April, May, June. So that's three months to get this under control. And then if by July, I think there's a possibility that we'll be able to like, meet in groups and do those kinds of things. Probably not everything will be lifted. Like, there will probably be some kind of, I don't know, some sort of restriction because you don't really just recover from this super fast. But I think we won't be trapped in our houses by then. And if we so are too. still trapped in our houses by then, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to lose my mind. So, so that brings me to, what have you been doing to pass the time? Have you been watching any shows or anything like that? Or <laughs> um, Yeah, I've actually been watching a lot of shows. I haven't finished a whole series. Um, Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, I, as far as TV goes, I kind of went back to my old things. I was watching some Disney Plus in the mornings, and then at night, <laughs> I got back into America's Next Top Model. <laughs> And Perfect. Then, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, very respectable. And then that's it. And then I've been watching a lot of movies with my parents. We watched some 007 movies. That's good. Uh, that's a good way to bond. bond. Yeah, we have a great bond. Yeah, <laughs> James Bond, Bond, good honey. I missed your jokes. I'm bringing... Um, and then I finished knitting a blanket. Um... I started running, actually. Kelsey nice. wants me to run a half marathon with her cool. for Cherry Fest. So we'll see if that happens. <laughs> so we'll Now I know why you really want happens. Cherry Fest canceled. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> what? Cherry Fest canceled? That means I can't run 13.1 miles, darn. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's It sounds fun, actually. I think it's a good thing. But, um... Yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I've been playing double solitaire with my mom. It's been super fun. Walking my dog. Yeah. And my new sleep schedule is very interesting because normally, 
even on weekends, normally I wake up at like eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. But um, now I go to bed between one and four in the morning, and I wake up at like eleven. <laughs> so it's definitely a new, it's a new it's dynamic a for me. It's a big shift. Yeah, but I've gotten very used to it now. So. Oh boy. Watch it be like back to school April April thirtieth or whatever. Yeah, if they do announce that we're going back to school, I'm gonna have to start like adjusting my routine, like a week before we actually go back, because otherwise I'm gonna be exhausted. But it's fine. It's okay. It's good. Uh, <laughs> no issue. Let's see. Okay, so the running's pretty good. What have What are you up to right now? Right now, like the second, I'm talking to you, Henry, but right before this, I was doing the English college board thingy and writing my daily quarantine journal. <laughs> good, so, good. Keep it's not very record. interesting. Now there's the COVID cast up. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, your COVID cast is very, very intriguing. I, I, tried, I tried my best. What are you doing, Henry? What am I doing? Well, yeah. I've been doing a lot of dog walking. Um, my dad uh, has been at the ER a lot. He just got back. He was gone for 10 days. He was, like, staying in a hotel in Cadillac. Uh, so, yeah, it's just been me and my mom and our two dogs. So, lots of dog walks. Uh, playing a little piano. <laughs> I heard Claire de Lune the first day. I thought it was very impressive. That was that was solid. That's probably the best thing I can do. I I, <laughs> I have the Soviet national anthem, which Russian national that anthem. That could come in handy. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so if if the commies ever uh no, I don't know. Um the French national anthem. I just started the entertainer today. If you it's like da 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 dun That's da, good. Da, 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 da. So I'm starting that, trying to figure that out right now. Um, I've been do you know Better Call Saul? Heard of that? It's a, it's a TV show. Uh, it's like related to Breaking Bad. It's like a spinoff. I just watched. I just watched season four over the past week. Oh wow! So sounds productive. Very productive. Very very. <laughs> been making these COVID casts. Takes me like a couple hours each day. So that's something. That's good. Yes. Then doing a little, I don't know, doing some schoolwork. Very exciting. <laughs> yeah, that sounds invigorating. Oh, yes. Nothing but a party here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. I was just checking an update, apparently. Just something saying that uh, Whitmer just said that probably it's going to continue past April 13th. Oh. So. Oh, I got I got one cheesy thing that I've started. Oh. Uh, like four or five days ago, I, I have stopped shaving. So. I did notice that in a Snapchat you sent me. I thought that <laughs> yeah. you looked yeah, a, I'm little, start, I'm starting... a little fluffy. I don't know. Very nice. Start my mu- I don't know. I'm I feel like I'm not going to be able to make it to the point where it's an actual mustache. I'm going to bail, but we'll see. That's probably for the best, but <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Probably. It probably is for the best, honestly, but you know, I'm I'm going to try it. I got this time. It's not like anyone's going to see me. Oh wait. No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh so yeah. Let's see. Guess how are your parents doing? Both my parents are retired, so they are kind of in a good spot because They're I not. mean, obviously they can't do the fun things that they normally get to do, and they still have like they're on like some committees for something, so they can't really do those meetings. They've had to like Zoom for those zoom, for zoom. like Rotary and things like that. But um, they're kind of in a good spot; like they don't have to worry about working from home really so but they're definitely bored like they miss their routine obviously i think everybody does but yeah um, 
Yeah, they're fine. Um, I think they're worried, but they'll probably be listening to this. <laughs> so, um, hi. Yeah, you can say hi to my parents. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. <laughs> um, yeah, they're fine though. They're pretty good. What do you think is going to happen with grades? I'm kind of like, are they going to do just pass-fail this year? or? Um, I feel like they wouldn't fail anyone. Like, if you're failing a class before we left school, I don't think that they would fail that person because that would kind of be unfair because technically they would have had time in the year to mm -hmm. get their grade up. So I don't really know what's going to happen with testing, like if they'll send us an online exam. But... I feel like our grades even going to count this semester. I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't, I didn't really think about that very much because I feel like it would be unfair if they just left us with the grades that we had right now, because mm -hmm. normally you would have time to bring them up or whatever. But, um, I feel like that's kind of the only thing there's to do unless they did want to send out like some online exam, but I don't know, because I, I don't know, I heard from some people that, like, teachers can't actually grade stuff yeah. that's been assigned. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know what they're going to do. I think, I don't know. I guess we'll maybe find out today, or... <laughs> yeah, I hope so, because I'm worried. Um, what's it? Oh, uh, what, what did you knit? Like a, a, a blanket or? So it was actually very easy. <laughs> um, when I was in second grade, I started knitting like a real blanket with knitting needles and stuff. But mm -hmm. a couple months ago I started like finger knitting this blanket with stuff called easy yarn. So it's very fast. So I kind of just finished the blanket that I started like three months ago and never touched. So I just finished that. Um, I actually ran out of yarn, so I'm technically not finished, but I've done all that I can. Unless I wanted to like trek out to Joanne Fabrics, which is, I don't really want to do. Is that even open? I don't know. I, th I think they are open, but... An essential I, business, arts and crafts. <laughs> yeah, because people are sewing those, I mean, People are selling those masks, so maybe that's why. But, okay, um, yeah. I guess yeah. they could be considered essential. I don't know. That's so-so to me. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like a lot of businesses are open that could not be essential. Yeah, like but, um, we went out to Meyer the other day, and, like, Batteries Plus was open. And it's like... Yeah, like, what do you have to do with your batteries right now? It's not that important. I mean, I guess, yeah. like... I don't know. <laughs> I think that we should just close everything <laughs> and then just make this whole thing go a lot faster. Yeah. Everything just closed. Like we were at I Meyer. mean, obviously we can't do that, but. Yeah. Like we were at Meyer and it was just kind of like a zoo. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like there's going to be a lot of people get COVID at the grocery store. It's like the main spot now. Yeah, it's gross. My parents and I went to the grocery store and I have never been that scared to be in a grocery store. <laughs> I don't know. It just, like, took all the fun out of doing anything. Not that know. grocery shopping is particularly... Oh, oh I, I enjoy grocery shopping very much, actually. Okay. I love to it's, it's, pick it's, out things. <laughs> it's, it's fun if you're hungry, but then you end up spending a ton of money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So yeah, we probably spent less money than we would have because we were kind of trying to go in and get out super fast so we didn't have to be like breathed on by anyone. Yeah, so. we did the, um, Meyer has like, someone shops for you. Oh, um, yeah. So we tried that, we'd never done that before, but we did that last week and it was, And I then do they just take it to your car? Yeah. It's just like they have like a drop off thing. It's basically like drive through, get your groceries. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that would be convenient. Anything else? Any, any, I don't know. No, I think we pretty much covered it. There's not a whole lot happening, but 
I'm really just looking forward to not being stuck in my house anymore. I mean, I can go outside, but I enjoy socializing. Oh, and tennis season is definitely down the drain. Yeah. But, um, so that's sad. Like, I feel bad for all spring sports because I know, like, some people prepare for their season, like, all year. I know. And then their season's just gone. So that's kind of sad. I know. I, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm just looking forward to being able to go outside and, like, socialize and be in a public place (laughs) with people who aren't my parents. But we'll see if it happens. It'll it'll Soon. happen. My my hope is that like by June I could be selling sushi at Little Fleet. That's yeah, that's a good that's, my... that's a good hope to have. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're staying safe, doing good. Yeah, I am. You too, Henry. Stay safe. Yep. Stay healthy. Yep. Good luck with the half marathoning. I know you're gonna take it down. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding you maybe. to it now. Even if it, even if Cherry Fest ca- is canceled, I expect a full thirteen point you know, one. I probably will still do that. <laughs> so I'll just make a vlog of it myself. Yes. If Cherry Fest doesn't happen. Yes. That's what I'll do. You could start. You could start your running vlog. Yeah. Your journey. No, <laughs> that that would not be pretty. Let's not do that. But. Okay. Well, bye, Henry. Thanks, Sophie. Thank you. Bye. See ya. See ya.